Kahala, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Barakata, Kahala, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Barakata, Kahala, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Barakata. Shalom, Israel. I just want to touch on the topic. Um, just do the works. Do the works. Show yourself approved. Yeah, let me, I'm going to start off with. Second Timothy, uh, Salakia, hold on. Yeah, Second Timothy, chapter two and verse fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So we gotta, we gotta study. We gotta study in this truth. So we can show ourselves to prove unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We gotta um gotta meditate in these scriptures daily. Like we gotta make love to these scriptures. Like it's um like it's your favorite meal. <laughs> when you eat your favorite meal, you you all up into it. You you um what they say, you um going in on the, on a on that plate. You even might even lick up, might even pick up the plate and lick it when you're done. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you gotta be in this, in these scriptures. You gotta be all over it. Let me get another script. So I can bear with me for a second. Alright, I'm not the scripture I wanted, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring this out. <laughs> Well, well, I can get it. Second uh, Peter's chapter one verse ten. Wherefore the, wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, sorry. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. All right. So diligence that, that's consistent. That goes into being consistent. You gotta be consistent in these scriptures. Meditate, meditate on these scriptures daily. That's the scripture I wanted to bring out, but I can't find it right now. Well, whether I get it, I can't remember off the top of my head. But you gotta be um, consistent in these scriptures to make your election and your calling sure. You know, you wanna be for all the men. You wanna be, you wanna be part of that, that hopeful elect, that hundred forty-four thousand. Or if not, you can, it'll be part of the one third. But you, you definitely don't want to be part of the two thirds, because two thirds, they're gonna be destroyed with these ICMB missiles. Yeah, you don't want that, or you don't want to be in a cast in the lake of fire. Chapter 19, verse 26.
I will start at 24. Matthew chapter 19, verse 24. And again, I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh. <laughs> when his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who can then be saved? But Yahweh beheld them and said unto them, With men this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Verse 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye shall ye also so like ye, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. <laughs> Verse 29, and everyone that hath forsaken houses or brethren or sister or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my name's sake shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. But many that are that Salaki, but many that are first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So you gotta give up. So, so like you, sometimes you gotta um, you gotta forsake your wife. You gotta forsake your um, children if you got children. You even gotta forsake your mother and your father. Like if they um, they they want to say, oh, you 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 weird or you just not the same as you was before. I can't let that discourage you. And it's truth. You gotta. Just keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? You can't um like you got a wife and she and she say, Oh, what you gonna do? Cause she don't like the truth. She gonna say, Oh, what you gonna do? Choose me or this or the or the or keep reading the Bible. You gotta choose the Bible, man, cause you that if you don't, I mean you're not even worthy. You're not worthy of this kingdom. You're not worthy to be to be of the elect. You're not worthy to receive this truth. And if you, um, if you like riches, if you can't give up the money, and you, and you love money more than this truth, you're not worthy of this truth. You gotta, you gotta kill you. You gotta kill yourself. Not physically, you gotta kill yourself mentally. You gotta be reborn. You gotta be reborn as a baby in this truth. John chapter three, verse three. So I, yeah, John chapter three, verse three. Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. See, so everything you learn in this, in this world, like Christianity, uh, if you was a Muslim, all this worldly wisdom, you gotta throw that away and be, and renew your mind as a little baby. Cause you know, you, if you tell a, if you tell a little baby anything, they gonna, they gonna hearken. They gonna be like, okay, that, that's, that's what I gotta do. So see like, you can teach a baby bad things like cursing. You can play, play foul music around a baby and then they gonna pick up on it. And they gonna, then that's how they gonna act. So. So if you being taught this truth and forget forget all the philosophy that you heard in this world and you listen to this truth as a, as a newborn baby, you gonna start to do what you what you um been taught. But you gotta be taught right in this truth. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get revelations because, like I said, my first verse, um, 
You gotta be diligent. You gotta be consistent. You can't be, oh, I'm gonna read tonight, but then let me take a break for, for a few weeks. It don't work like that. You can't be lukewarm. You gotta be on fire consistently, constantly meditating on these scriptures. Revelation chapter 3, verse 15. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold or hot. I would, I would thou were cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold or hot, I will spoo thee out of thy mouth. So that's like if you if you eat, an, let's see, an open oatmeal, you got some oatmeal and you cooked it, and then you had you had to run out for a second and let it sit. Then you come back to the house and it's it's not hot or cold, and you eat it. It's just nasty. So you you gonna spit it out and probably throw it away or warm it back up, whatever the case may be. But by you spitting it out, that's what the Lord is doing to Lord is doing to you if you lukewarm in His truth. If you like I said, if you wanna read one day or and not read for a few weeks and say, oh, I I pray, but I pray some nights. No, you gotta at the least I say. Just as a man, at least three times a day, you got to be praying. You got to be, uh, as soon as we wake up in the morning, at the least, I, I say, as soon as we wake up, you we get off the plantation, you know, slavery, we, um, and before you go to bed. But you can make it in a little bit more. The more the better, you know what I mean? But you can't be lukewarm. And you ain't got to study. You got to read, watch videos, take notes. You can't be lukewarm in this truth. You gotta be diligent. That's how you make your election sure. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. Let me get Mark. Cause I said you gotta, um, not physically, but you gotta spiritually kill that old self. So I'm gonna get Mark chapter eight, verse 20, 34. Mark chapter eight, verse 34. And when he, and when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, whosoever will come after, will come after, Salaki. Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. So you gotta. So I gotta have a nose. You gotta deny yourself in this truth, like, like deny your flesh. Cause, uh, like, like you can't be smoking while you're in this truth. You can't be smoking weed. That's the file in the temple. First Corinthians three verse seventeen. See, sometimes you might, I feel like, I go, I say you got this truth, you've been in this truth for a week, and you're trying to dish the weeds. You got to constantly deny the flesh and get rid of that addiction. You got to scrap your knees, you got to pray to get that to get that demon off you. You got to deny yourself. I say you, was, um, you, you really love pork chops. Pork chops was hard to get rid of. You gotta, you gotta deny your flesh. You gotta, um, can't be lusting out the women, drinking. Molly Perkins said you can't be. You even gotta, I would say you even gotta, um, you gotta change. It's all right to listen to music, but you can't be listening to that future and uh, Molly Perkins said and um, just lusting out the women. You can't. It just, it just doesn't balance out. You know what I mean? You gotta. You gotta, um, cause a false balance is abomination. You gotta, um, I say you gotta listen, you gotta listen, you gotta, um, keep, keep, keep these scriptures playing in your head. You can't, you can't be double minded, you know what I'm saying? Cause a double mind, that's abomination. The Lord ain't dealing with double minded people. Oh, good. Is
Ezekiel chapter 11. I ain't gonna make this video too long. Probably about 20 minutes. Lord of love. Ezekiel 11. Verse 16. Uh, Ezekiel 11, verse 16. Therefore say, therefore say, thus saith Yahweh, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. So even though Yahweh, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai has scattered us, he scattered us among these heathens, these so-called uh, white, these so-called white people, um, these um, so-called Chinese people, the Moab, the Moabites, the um, Ammonites, the so-called um, I think those those Japanese, uh, the Egyptians. We got it. so like we don't got that many Egyptians in. Uh, I live in America. We don't got that much Egyptians in America. But even though he scattered us, even though he scattered us among these heathens, we he he still finds that little sanctuary for us. Like if we got a camp, you got you got a place you can congregate amongst your brothers. And um, he sa it says, yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. So Yahweh, when we got when we got problems among these heathens, we get tired of them. Yahweh is our little sanctuary where we can we can um, get right in these scriptures. You know, get back um, get back to the to our comfort, and these scriptures are our comfort. Okay. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, chapter seventeen, verse nine. No, Jeremiah. Chapter 17, verse 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Yahweh search the heart. I try, I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. So Jake wanna say, um, man, I'm I'm living righteous. Even though you ain't, you ain't keeping no commandments. Well, you ain't trying to keep no commandments, but you say, oh, I'm living righteous. I'm, I'm so-called conscious. You know what I'm saying? What would Jake like to say? Uh, I'm living right. I ain't, um, even though you can't judge, they say, I ain't judging. I ain't judging people. I'm out here. Um, they, 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 they view worldly, worldly things worldly things of, of being righteous as righteous to the most high. To love the most high, as it says in John 14 and 15, it's simple. Keep the commandments. Like if you got, um, if your mom tell you, your mom and dad, they tell you to clean the house while they go to work, and you clean the house and they come back, they're going to be proud of you because you, you doing what they tell me, what they telling you to do. Same thing with the, how much so the most how much more the most high. You you doing what the most high tell you to do, he gonna love you for that. That's making your election sure. Doing doing keeping the commandments, have faith, and his commandments are not grievous. This um this world, man, this world will turn you upside down. Yeah. They make you think these commandments are hard because you're so used to living in this world just doing wicked, wicked things. You know what I'm saying? Going out every Friday and Saturday to drink, go to the club, smoke. You know what I'm saying? That that worldly, that worldly stuff is folly. Uh, 
school systems, man. School systems is not. They 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 doctrine is off. They they teach you. Um, they teach you, in the school system, they go teach your kids Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween, uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day. They they teach you all these pagan holidays, and your kid coming back to you with these with the, being indoctrinated pretty much with these pagan holidays. You know what I'm saying? So this world, you gotta, I gotta say, you gotta you gotta kill yourself spiritually. In this world, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get Sirach chapter 37. I'm gonna get a few more verses and I'll close out. Sirach chapter 37, verse 12. But be continually with a godly man who thou knowest, who thou, whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of Yahweh, whose mind is according to thy mind and will sorrow with thee if thou, if thou shalt miscarry. So you should, you should be around like-minded people. You should, if you don't have somebody in this truth, pray, pray how it brings, bring somebody to you in this truth. I have met, um, met, met my, um, met a brother that I do, that I do videos with. I met him at Walmart. You know what I'm saying? We both had fringes. We we collaborated and we've been cool ever since. So, Cause um, at the end of the day, you want people that's in the truth. Cause if you going off and you don't know, they are gonna be able to tell you and they are gonna be able to correct you. And and they gonna keep you on that right path. Cause the elect for the elect, our main goal is to be part of that hopeful elect. I know at least for me, my for my own self I can speak I can say that. I'm gonna get two more scriptures and I'm gonna close out. chapter 1, I mean, it's like Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, brethren. Oh, it's like it. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present yourself, it's like it, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto Yahweh, which is which is your reasonable service. So you gotta be, you gotta sacrifice your body. Like I said, you gotta... <laughs> You gotta kill your old self. You gotta when you going out teaching. You gotta you gotta um, show your body as a as a sacrifice. You gotta um, you gotta be willing to die for this truth physically, because that's the ultimate that's the ultimate reward of dying for His name's sake. You gotta be a, you gotta be a sacrifice of this truth. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. See, by... I've been saying this all video. By you renewing your mind and being transformed out of this... Being renewed... From out of this world, because like I said, this world is wicked. Uh, let me get that real quick. Uh, yeah, James. This world is wicked. Let me get that. Uh, James 4 and 4. James chapter 4 verse 4 Ye adulterers and adulterers Know ye not that the friendship of the world Is entity Is empty With God Whosoever thou there, whosoever, whosoever therefore Will be a friend of the world Is the enemy of God 
See, if you um so connected to this world, you you doing things of the world. You not a, you not of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Yahweh by Yahweh Shah. You not of them. So you got to come up out of this world, Romans twelve and two. You got to come out of this world, be transformed into holy, holy men, holy women. And if you're a woman, you gotta. I did it. We all we put this out in my other video, but I'm gonna say it again. Uh, according to Second Timothy, no, Salaki, I think it's. Hold on, I want to say the wrong script. Yeah, First Timothy chapter two and verse nine. Yeah, kind of. You gotta, you, you women, you gotta be in modest apparel, according to First Timothy chapter two verse nine. You gotta be in modest apparel, shame faced it, not, not like Cardi B and Beyonce having their they head all up and chest puffed out, switching their hips. Nah, that's going off. You gotta be modest apparel, shame faced. That's a that's a virtuous woman. You can read about a virtuous like a virtuous woman. That's Proverbs thirty one. Virtuous woman. You gotta you gotta you can't be conformed to this world. Celebrities, these high cost celebrities, they, they more than likely they, they sold it out. They sold their soul. You know what I'm saying? So you following them, you follow the um, the enemy, the devil, which is so called white man and and his ways. That's he's the devil that the, the Bible speaks of, the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me close out with Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter. Let me see this. Yeah, I'm going to close out with this. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now Israel, which is so-called black Spanish and Native Americans. And now Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear Yahweh thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve Yahweh thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. You got to... You got to do your best to serve Yahweh and keep these commandments with all your heart and your soul. These commandments are not grievous. It says in uh, that's First John. Let me get that real quick. First John chapter yeah. No, sorry. Uh, First John. So I can, uh, I think it's, yeah, I'm gonna get 2nd John chapter, I mean, 2nd John verse 6. And this is love that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, you should walk into it. So we got to walk in these commandments. We got to fear Yahweh. How we fear Yahweh? By keeping these commandments. Doing what he tell us to do. And and knowing that he can, he can kill us. Any, he, can, he, he can kill us. You know what I'm saying? If you're not keeping his commandments, that's, that's the fear. Let me get that real quick. Deuteronomy. Because... The Lord, people want to say Yahweh is all love, but he, he kills, you know what I'm saying? Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no good 
Slaki, and there is no God with me. I kill, I make alive, I womb, and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of thy hand. So you, you, God, Yahweh, he pretty much says there's no God with him. Wisdom is with Yahweh. That's how he made this world through wisdom, because he got the A1 wisdom. You know what I'm saying? He kills, he he makes alive. So the, so whenever you see like uh, John McCain, he just passed away. That's Yahweh putting putting judgment on him. So we gotta back to Deuteronomy chapter ten verse twelve. We gotta fear Yahweh, walk in His ways. That's the commandments. And to love him, love him is keeping his commandments. And to serve Yahweh thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Pray, seek him, talk. You know what I'm saying? Talk to him by praying. Verse 13, to keep the commandments of, of Yahweh and his statutes which I command thee this day for thy good. So this is for all for our good. Everything he's telling us is for our own good. Let me get one more verse. Yeah, I'm gonna close it out to one more verse. Yeah, I'm gonna close out with this one more verse. Philippians Cause you can't Nobody can um, Can't join nobody hand To make it to the kingdom You gotta work on your own salvation close out on this. Philippians chapter 2 verse 12 Wherefore my beloved as ye have always obeyed not in my presence only but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You gotta like I said in that last verse you gotta have fear and trembling. You gotta work out your own salvation. Not and not Paul was saying Paul was saying to the people that was under him, yeah, y'all was following me under uh, when I was there, but now you got to do much more in my absence. You know what I'm saying? That, so that's like us with Yahweh. Because um, Yahweh, he's he, he not visible right now. Yahweh by Yahweh, by Yahweh Shai, he's not visible right now. But, we gotta, but he still sees us, trust me. So so he's not here, but we he's not here physically to be to be on you to where you gonna want to act right, but you gotta do it when he's not physically present. You know what I'm saying? You gotta work on your salvation, keep these commandments. Okay, well, I'm gonna close out on that. Uh, I wanna give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Raka Kadash, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah. Shalom.